what's going on everybody Patrick Hughes here from Visual Post I uh, got a couple requests a while ago I'm sorry <laughs> I've been busy for um, some more Billings 3 videos this is gonna tr I'm gonna try to make this a super quick um, you know custom layout for estimates and custom invoice video um, I'll go probably do a little more in-depth video but I mean probably as is this probably video is gonna be like 10 minutes hopefully we can uh, rush it so open up Billings and let's get started. So here we go. We're going to go up to the top. We're creating a new estimate, a, te a new estimate template with, you know, our own custom branding. So we're going to be doing a new one for uh, 2010 for visual post. And so you open it up, dialog box asks you, um, you know, hey, do you want to create an estimate or an invoice or a statement? Well, we want to create a template for an estimate for today. We're going to call this VP 2010 EST. A little shorthand. It's a short video. We're trying to keep things quick, easy, and awesome. We're going to hit next. It's going to ask us, hey, do we want to start from a blank template or use an existing layout? For the love of God, use an existing layout. This is a very difficult system. This whole thing here is very difficult to understand. Just find something that is kind of in the area of what you like. And then, um, you know, we'll go ahead and I kind of like watermark and, and use it. Trust me, blank layout. I mean, you, you need like an entire day to figure that out. We want U.S. letter unless you live in some other fun country. So um, you have three main panes on here. You have um, on the left hand side, you have. These are kind of like dynamic boxes, um, you know, that, uh, you know, don't even worry about those. This is a quick and dirty design. You really want to concentrate on your canvas area here and your your you know your parameters or your you know info pane right here on the right. Uh, please note that there are dynamic you know there is dynamic text on this page like so your invoice title and estimate stuff like that. Um, the type of creation uh, the type of design we're going to do with this is I'm going to add my letterhead to the background. So let's go grab the letterhead. We're gonna go up to insert right here, and we're gonna say image. And it made a nice little pretty box. Don't worry about the size. We're gonna make sure we highlight our box. We're gonna go over to the right size under attributes, and we're gonna click source. Now, I don't know why it just doesn't say image, but whatever. So you're gonna click static, because it's gonna be a static image. And uh, I'm already in my, my, my letterheads right here. Now, uh, my letterhead isn't really meant for um, a portrait-sized canvas, but that's okay for today's purposes. I'm just going to stretch it. I really don't care that I don't have my bottom, you know, I don't have my bottom text down here. I just really want to uh, concentrate on the masthead here, and this canvas is not very good because it doesn't let you see anything outside of the canvas. So you can't get your handlebars to fit. So let's see. That looks pretty good. I don't mind having a little white on both sides. Um, and, and for today's purposes, that's fine. So as you can see, the letterhead uh, document the image that I've created beforehand uh, is covering everything. We need to send it to the back, just like you know you used to do in you know Microsoft Word back in 1994 when you learned it. Uh, so you're gonna send it to back. You're gonna keep sending it, you know, James Brown style. Send it back, boom, and then you know, keep going. You know, keep going, keep going, and until send backwards, you're unable to um, see it anymore. As you can see, um, we're covering up a whole bunch of our dynamic text, and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna delete that little box over there because I believe that's where uh, Billings inserts our logo. We already have our logo now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this box. We're going to shrink. And unfortunately, I would go ahead and select each of these all at once. But unfortunately, it doesn't let us do that. So I have to pull them down individually. And like I said, this is a quick and dirty, uh, quick and dirty you know, template overhaul for um, an estimate. Billings 3. So we're going to need these boxes kind of right here. I'm sure there's some snapping tools that I just don't know about. And we're going to move this down 
just a little bit more. Oh. Nesting that needs to go on here. Um, that looks pretty good. You know what I might do is there's no real way of opening. Wait. Five. And okay, that looks good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go file save as. And then we're going to call this VP 2010 uh, estimate, EST. I'm going to save. And we are going to close. Then we are going to, uh, we're going to try it out. So we're going to try it out on uh, Mr. Nobody. And we're going to put a new package. We're going to do a new slip. It's a cool product, and it's going to be for $475, and we're going to send this guy an estimate. He's definitely going to buy it. We're going to go to preview, and that's our old, that's my old estimate. So what we're going to do is, oops, we're going to go up here, and you can see VP 2010 estimate. We're going to click on it. Bang! It's got our, it's got our stuff. As you can see, the uh, the bottom here, something really quick we can fix. We can go in and crop out that bottom, but you get a pretty good looking estimate really fast. Obviously, it's for nobody, so it doesn't have information here. You could actually bring this information down a little bit more. Um, this is a really nice estimate for um, the type of thing you know for the you know a, a longer line item, uh, so you can fit more text in. Check it out. Hit create. Go make some money. Let me know what you guys think. I'll try to do uh, a longer version of this tutorial. Unfortunately, it's probably going to take like a good half hour. And you know, you know what they say, time is money. And I got to get paid. So see you guys later. Take it easy. Let me know what you think.